Astronomy teaches us that the moon takes 27.3 days to orbit the earth. Every day the moon is seen in a different segment of the sky and on the 28th day it's seen back in the starting segment. 27 nakshatras provide the closest whole number approximation to moon's orbital period. A peculiar aspect of Vedic astronomy is the idea of dealing with decimals and fractions by simplifying it to a problem involving whole numbers. This means that the solution is obtained in a bigger time scale. Therefore, approximations in Vedic astronomy should only be judged after considering refinements in bigger time scales. Vedic astronomers also approximated the synodic month to 30 units instead of 29.52, a number with decimal places. Each unit within the 30 unit cycle is named as a tithi. A tithi is conceptually similar to a lunar phase. A tithi is shorter than a 24 hour day period. The two-day difference between lunar orbital period and a synodic month creates a sequence of nakshatras on which full moons occur. The names of synodic months are derived from the corresponding nakshatra names. The number of days by which 12 lunar months are short of a tropical year create a pattern of extra month being needed every four to five years. A more refined 19-year cycle predates the metonic cycle attributed to the Greeks by over two millennium. The 19-year cycle is an interesting example of cryptic coding in mantras of the knowledge of Vedic astronomy. The idea of a 13th full moon in a year is more ancient and is expressed as a parable in mantras related to the Soma sacrifice and to the Gandharvas. Related mantras provide cryptic phrases which decode into precise estimates of the lengths of synodic and sidereal months. The modern day idea of a leap year and of adding one intercalary day every four years finds a parallel in the intercalary lunar months and days of the Vedic calendar. Thus, an astronomically accurate calendar system has been passed on for five millennium. The largest time scale in this calendric scheme is a kalpa cycle of 4.32 billion years, which hides the knowledge of the phenomenon of precession. Equinox position shifts to a new nakshatra every thousand years. Scholars have dated the Vedic astronomy era by using a specific reference to a winter solstice in Jyotish texts without a complete appreciation of cryptic codes related to nakshatras.